Check. If anybody got, can you guys hear me and see me out there? Give me some thumbs up. Are you guys on? Everybody's good. The sound is good. We got thumbs up. Welcome back. I, uh, I'm going to go over all kinds of scissoring skills with you. I want to thank you guys. We have 1,200 subscribers tuning in for the very first time. Please go down and click on there and subscribe. Hit the bell. You will get notified every single time we upload. We're doing it often right now. Spread your love. So before we get started, I just want to introduce to you little Mary. A lot of you guys, you guys are our loyal fans. So you already know Mary. Mary is our own dog. She's a seven-year-old toy poodle. And uh, I just had her on, on Facebook about an hour and a half ago. She, she had her back. So I guess that that's where I kind of want to start is a lot of times I feel like you guys are out there and you're rushing. You're not doing a proper bath and a blow dry and the nails and the pads. These are very, very important things for you guys to do. So that's your need you to know if you guys can see us Alrighty, guys, let me know if you guys can hear us. We fixed our Wi Fi. Country life. The country life. Oh, I can see you. So that's a good thing. Oh, I appreciate your patience. I promise to be dazzy with my excellent skills and scissoring. So I really want you guys to get involved. Please, please get involved. So she's had her bath and her blow dry. I started with the fact that you really, really need to have a proper bath and a blow dry on her. I'm going to scissor her all over. Uh, one thing is you, I always like to look at the animal as a whole dog. And I feel like a lot of times you guys missed that point too. So she's a very nicely made dog. She's short back. She's really well made. She's got a nice chunky little body. So those things are perfect. We don't really have to hide anything. One thing, though, is that, <clears throat> excuse me, when she was a puppy, she broke her leg. So she had an injury in her back leg. So that's one thing I always have to keep in mind when I'm grooming her. I like to use some sort of a finishing spray before I even start. And we've already done all of her pads and her nails. This is her funny foot, just so you guys can see. This is the way she actually broke. And you can see she has a little callus here on the other side. But I will take the time, I wanted to just show you uh, one bevel, because I feel like this really helps you um, like set up your, your haircut. You can use this on your commercial grooming, any kind of grooming, and it really is how you get those nice lifted up bevels and how you elevate them. I use uh, my Wall Berbera, and I use it on a 40 blade, but if you're not comfortable with that, go down to a 10 or a 15. Use what you're comfortable with, okay? So I will generally stand behind the dog and I will just take the paw. Oh, that's the one that's already done, just kidding. I'm gonna do this one. And I'm gonna clear all the stuff around the stomp pad first. And this really helps for me to get those feet so they're elevated. If I take all of that off, before I even start to scissor. This makes a huge, huge difference. And you'll see that in a minute when we start to scissor. So before I scissor, I'm doing this every single time. I, I never miss this step. If you start to do this step, you guys are gonna improve massively by the end of this episode.